Welcome to the place where we can talk about TV. Let's do some news. First up, if you're a fan of the following, you might be glad to know that a few photos from the premiere episode of the second season have surfaced online. So now you can look at them with your eyes. Oh, here's one. Hmm, this one has a taxi in it. This one has two people in it. There's still no synopsis for the second season as of yet, but we do have a date. And that's the 27th of January. Also, you can expect a special preview on January 19th, right after the NFC Championship game. Whatever the fuck that is. The season 2 premiere will kick off 15 weeks of uninterrupted episodes. And I love that because I fucking hate mid-season finales. Just give me the show, give it to me in one piece, and I'll take it, I'll fucking rub it all over my... The History Channel's very first original series, Vikings, is coming back for a second season. I did watch the first season and I really didn't care for it that much because, first of all, it was only nine episodes. The whole season was pretty much over before I had a chance to really get into it. It was all like, oh, oh, is it over? Is it over? Already? Well, that's funny because that joke can also uh, be applied to sex. So the History Channel has put up a press release that says everything is going to change and on February 2014, we're going to get 10 episodes. Fuck. <laughs> Why am I swearing so much? The show and the star-studded cast returned February 27th at 10 p.m on the History Channel. There's a synopsis or a short description of the season that you can read and two teaser trailers. Well, a teaser trailer and a, uh, what's it called? Well, you have a teaser promo and a sneak peek. You have two teaser trailers that you can see. By now, you probably know that Fox is adapting the British crime drama Broadchurch uh, into an American crime drama called Grace Point. Personally, I don't really like the idea of an American version for a a British TV show because I can get why you would make uh, an American version of an Israeli TV show like uh, Hostages or Homeland or an American version of a Japanese or German TV show or pretty much any other country that doesn't already speak English. It would be very uncomfortable for Americans to watch the Israeli versions of uh, Hostages because it's kind of geared towards the Israeli culture and you can't get the references and stuff like that. And I'm not saying the American culture and the British culture are the same, because obviously they're not, but Americans have been watching uh, British television for a long while now. And I don't think it's worth compromising the feel of the original to make that transition. And as someone who isn't American or British, I don't really see a reason to watch Grace Point, because I've watched Broadchurch, and it's an amazing show. It's so good, so good. So good. Uh. And obviously I'm in love with David Tennant and who isn't? Maybe I'll watch the American version only because it also has David Tennant, which also makes me wonder wh what, why. So I feel like I've already experienced the story that Broadchurch tells uh, in its purest form, I guess. But I guess we'll wait and see. Oh, and uh, the news story about it was that Nick Nolte was cast. Nolte will play Jack Reynolds, an unmarried, old, stubborn man that runs a kayak rental on the beach where the murdered boy used to work. Will he live up to his British counterpart? Speaking of British crime drama, smooth segue. You also probably heard that Sherlock is getting a mini episode, but now that episode has release dates. So maybe Stephen Moffat saw how much the Doctor Who mini episode did for Doctor Who before the 50th anniversary and he decided it's the right way to go with Sherlock, maybe it was the plan all along. Anyway, you can read a short teaser kind of description on the link below. The Sherlock short will be released on the BBC iPlayer on Christmas Eve at 2 p.m. Right now it wasn't advertised if this is going to be on YouTube, but I'm guessing it will get there one way or another. And lastly, something I'm not overly excited about, Adam Goldberg is joining Jim Gaffigan's single camera comedy pilot. Now the reason I'm not so excited about this is because if you read the description for Jim Gaffigan's show, you realize that you've watched this about a thousand times. It's a comedy based about Jim Gaffigan's life. Now Jim Gaffigan, if you've seen his stand-up show, is he's really funny. He's not exactly my kind of 
not my not my kind of but he's funny but read the description and tell me you haven't seen this before it's based on his life as a father and he has a quirky friend adam goldberg in this case it sounds like pretty much every sitcom ever did i say lastly before that story because just just a bit more so moving to a comedy show we know is good fifth season of community just got a promo video and it's all Mad Men themed and it's just Excellent. Link below. Go and watch it right now. Community Season 5 begins January 2nd. There's something to be excited about. And now for reals lastly, both Justified and Arrow got new trailers. Arrow for the second half of the second season, episode 10, and Justified for season 5. Arrow continues on January 15th and Justified on January... 7th. The Justified trailer looks amazing, it doesn't give away too much, but it does its job, and I'm definitely gonna be watching that. And Arrow, it's okay, it passes the time, it's a whole lot of I'm speaking with a really low voice, but it's completely different from Batman, because I'm not just making this voice, there's something distorting my voice, but it it's only turns on when I put on the cape, I don't know what word knows how it works. And then running and the bad guy and then and then no, it's actually this guy and, and uh, I don't know, it looks like fun. I'm gonna watch it anyway. Maybe you've noticed that this show was a little bit different uh, from the others. That's because the others were scripted and this one was not. It's a new thing I'm trying out. And I'd love for you to tell me if you felt a difference or which format was better or if it's all the same to you. I'd love to get the feedback. See you next time.